Hey, how's it going guys? Chris here with some pretty early CTE footage of the Turning Tides DLC coming in December. Now, although it looks like I'm playing on a giant sheet of dusty graph paper, don't worry because the map's not actually going to look like this when the DLC comes out. This is known as a white box testing environment, and basically all of the textures and stuff haven't been applied to the map's geometry yet, which is the reason why everything's looking a bit funky in this video. But as far as the weapons go, which is the main reason why you're probably here, it's been announced that there's going to be a total of 6 new guns to play around with when the DLC finally hits. No doubt with their very own painful unlock assignments too. And I'm going to be showing them off and briefly going over all of those new guns in this video. As far as we know, these are all the main weapons that are going to be available in the Turning Tides DLC. But whether or not any more will be added further down the line is unknown at the moment. Probably not, but you never know. I'm going to be working on complete in-depth guides on all of these guns when the DLC releases, but as of right now, let's just check them out and see what we're going to be getting our hands on very soon. So starting off with the Assault Glass, we're going to be treated to two unique weapons which are both going to follow the same traditional CQC nature of the other Assault Glass guns. The first one is the C96 Trench, which is a weapon which I've actually already touched on a little bit in my C96 Carbine review, so it's nice to see it actually pop up in the game and be available to use. It's a German weapon which arrived late on in the war, and it also had a pretty big magazine capacity, allowing it to hold up to 40 rounds. Because it fires in semi-auto, this really plays around with the traditional formula of the Assault class being there to cater for players who want full auto SMGs and shotguns. And unlike other guns in the Assault class, the C96 Trench actually has more in common with a lot of the tanker pilot weapons being a carbine. It still seems to be geared up for close range battles though, with it being a really accurate hipfire weapon and that 40 round magazine is going to allow players to rush into the fray and gun down their enemies one by one. So the C96 Trench is a bit different to what Assault Class players are used to seeing, and it definitely could be one of the most interesting weapons in the Turning Tides DLC. The second Assault Gun, which is the Austro-Hungarian M1912 P16, is pretty much the complete opposite to the C96 Trench, as instead of having a big magazine and a slow but steady semi-auto function, the P-16 is a rapid-firing machine pistol, which can absolutely blitz through enemies at those close to medium ranges. If you think the gun looks pretty familiar, then that's because it's already in the game in its semi-auto form, as the Steyrhan M1912 is a pistol which can be used by the support class, and the machine pistol variant coming in the Turning Tide DLC is basically a fully automatic model with an extended magazine. In the CTE, the P-16 was an absolute monster, as it could tear through anyone it comes up against extremely quickly, though it does run out of ammo at a rapid rate, and it's not a very effective weapon over longer ranges, losing accuracy and power over distance. But if you're a fan of the Automatico and other fast firing bullet hoses, then you're probably going to have a lot of fun with the M1912 P16. Moving over to the Medic class, the next weapon in the Turning Tides DLC is the Farquhar Hill, which is a pretty weird looking self loading rifle from Britain, utilising a 19 round magazine shaped like a cone making it one of the most generous medic weapons as far as ammo is concerned. There were two variants in the CTE, so it's very likely that there's going to be two in the final DLC when it eventually drops in December, and these were just labelled as range and stability variants. Compared to other medic rifles, the kick felt a bit bouncier than average, though the fire rate seemed to keep up with the other rifles, allowing for some fairly quick takedowns at close to medium ranges and the fact that the gun holds more ammunition than most allows the wielder to kill multiple enemies without having to worry too much about running out of bullets. As for that support weapon in Turning Tides, we're going to be getting our hands on the Browning M1917, which was a really chunky water-cooled machine gun from the USA, of course designed by John Browning, and it was actually used well after World War I all the way up to the Vietnam War in the late 60s. Now, the gun in real life would have been mounted onto vehicles and used in stationary positions, but in Battlefield 1, you'll be able to run around and use the M1917 as a portable weapon, just like with the other support machine guns. It fired at a fairly slow rate, though the weapon is gifted with a massive 250 round ammo belt, which means that you'll barely ever need to reload as you play. It also seemed to be quite accurate when that bipod was in use too, and it could fire for a really long time before the gun started to overheat making it a great defensive weapon for planting down and taking out squads of enemies advancing on your position. There were two variants in the CTE, one which had basic stock iron sights, and the other having a longer range telescopic scope, for acquiring targets in the distance a little easier, and both are highly likely to be making their way into the DLC in December. 
So anyway, let's move over to the last category, which is of course the scout weapons. And we're going to be getting our hands on two rifles, with those being the Type 38 Arasaka and the Karkano M91, which both seem to only feature iron sighted variants. As for the Arasaka, this is actually a Japanese bolt action rifle which was in service all the way up to 1945 from 1906, seeing action in both world wars and quite a lot of other conflicts too, especially in the east. In the CTE, it seems to have a fairly early sweet spot, within a similar sort of distance to the Martini Henry, which might make it a more powerful mid-range scout weapon when the DLC hits. The gun also had a 5 round ammo capacity, which isn't really anything out of the ordinary, and fired at a similar sort of rate to the other rifles too. The last weapon in the DLC is the Carcano M91, which was an Italian bolt action rifle with a 6 round capacity, so it's able to hold one more round than a good majority of the other scout rifles in Battlefield 1. The Carcano didn't seem to have a sweet spot zone and instead had a quicker rate of fire than the other bolt action rifles, which made it feel quite similar to the Gewehr M95 in the way it's used dealing a high but not lethal amount of damage up close, and dealing less further away. This means that it could be another offensive rifle for playing the objective and finishing off weakened opponents up on the front lines. Though if the rifle doesn't have a sweet spot zone in the final build of the DLC, then it'll be a two shot kill to the body in a lot of cases, and probably won't function as a particularly strong long range sniper rifle for anyone who likes to gun down their opponents from a distance. Now I managed to capture quite a lot of footage of all of the six weapons coming in the DLC, so if you want to see the guns in action for a bit longer, then feel free to stick around and watch some extended gameplay of each individual weapon. But as far as all the talking goes, that's pretty much all I've got for you in this video. Do keep in mind that the weapon stats and animations will likely be updated when the Turning Tides DLC comes out. But these are all the weapons coming up, and I'm going to be focusing on them a hell of a lot more in future guides, so feel free to subscribe if you want to see all of those. And of course, why not check out my already existing reviews for the other weapons in the game too, if you've got a bit of time to spare. But anyway, thanks for watching guys, take it easy, and enjoy the rest of the gameplay. Machine gun. Hit him! Wait! <coughs> we have taken a Charlie. 
Objective Edward. Objective Edward. We have taken Objective Freddy. Lost objective apples. Objective apples. Bomba atıyorum. Dikkat edin. Objective button. Uh, 
Yardım çantası. Bir sıhhiyeci görüldü. Objective butter. Lost objective, Edward. We have taken objective apples. Objective dark. Shock trooper.
Excited. We have taken objective. We have taken objective apples. Objective apples. We have lost objective butter.
Give it him. We have taken objective apples. Dikkat edin. Objective Edward. Sighting enemy big guns! 